Hello everybody, welcome to Dark Haven and welcome to this special occasion as we are treated to a brand new faction in Total War Warhammer 3, the Chaos Dwarves. We will be playing as Draz Hoath, the Ashen, the Legion of Asgore. Playing on Legendary Difficulty, uh, I will let the Ultimate Crisis trigger between turns 100 and 150. That gives us enough time to enjoy the campaign. So, I have not played as them at all. The Chaos Dwarves, that is. I have deliberately avoided nearly all of the uh, news reports and so on about the faction just to keep it as exciting as possible. Because it's, as I say, it's a real treat. You don't get a new faction in Total War Warhammer very often. So, <laughs> look at the roster. It's massive. We've got a whole new law of magic to play with, the law of Hashut. We've got a really cool mix of units. Super heavy infantry. Chaff to sacrifice. Cool missile troops. We've got missile cavalry in a dwarven faction. Amazing looking artillery. I, I kind of understate that much. Look how exciting it cool is. That sort of mixture of steampunk and fantasy. Um, fast, hard hitting, armor piercing. Bull centaur. Monstrous beasts there under there. Um, we've got flying monsters. Monstrous infantry, bound fire demons. Oh, it's just amazing. Can't wait. I cannot wait. Um, starting location. Uh, it does seem as though all of the chaos dwarven factions are in this sort of area here, which is fine. I'm not sure which way we'll go. We'll uh, take it as it comes. So for more than a thousand years, the dark, burning spire of the Black Fortress has stood sentinel over the crossing place of the River Ruin at the southern edge of the mountains of Morn. It is a nightmarish place of soot, blackened iron and jagged rock. Burning magma runs through it like lifeblood. For centuries, the master of this dark domain and the warriors within it has been Drazoath the Ashen. A twisted, power-hungry creature and potent sorcerer, Drazoath was first sent to the Black Fortress in effective exile after losing favour in the brutal politics of Tsar Nagrund as a minor hellsmith, but has since risen to become its lord through his innate cunning and bitter, ruthless ambition. Malign, dark-souled and merciless Chaos Dwarves are known in legend as a warrior race of demon smiths, craftsmen and brutal killers who have dominated the northern reaches of the Darklands for thousands of years. Long separated from their fading kin of the West, the Dawizar have given themselves over to their dark master Hashut and allowed Chaos to work its twisted terrors on their minds and souls, transforming them into a calculatingly cruel reflection of what they once were. <laughs> How cool is that? What an amazing job Creative Assembly have done. They are deeply learned in the sorcerous arts and obsessed with the control of hellish forces and fires of the deep earth, combining dark lore with artisanship and skill for metalwork and industry. Thus, the Chaos Dwarves have produced a bewildering variety of strange and infernal war engines, demon-bound weapons and deadly tools of war, and their power grows still. Brilliant. Um, so, faction effects. Armaments cost minus 10% for all unit capacity upgrades in the Hellforge. Not sure what that is yet. Uh, an armament, <laughs> armaments output plus 10%. And 
just for the Lord himself. We've got a lovely 10% movement range, which I think is really good. Really good. Upkeep reduction of 25% for Kadai units. Now, I think that is... Is that... No. Okay, so that's the cool-looking fire demons and the really super amazingly cool-looking Kadai destroyer. Epic. And he also has passive ability Dark Renown. Plus eight melee attack um, for units within range if they have contempt. Grown and built upon across the centuries of his banishment, Drazhoath's endless contempt for all life is a tangible thing and a power in its own right. Ho oh, ho ho! I am so exciting. I am so excited. Let's dive on in. Look at the artwork. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be able to play dwarves again. After this, I think they've just been completely outclassed. These guys are so much more fun. Nice, that sounded amazing. Um, okay, so let's put our hero into the Drazhoath, the Ashen's army. Let us have a little looky around here. So they've got the Hellforge. The Hellforge. So we can improve unit capacity. And um, as we improve the capacity, uh, we unlock manufactory options. Now the manufactory uh, will let you make these permanent. I think you have to, they cost, they're kind of like the Chaos Gifts, if I am correct. We start with a Black Fortress. They've got different types of settlement, which we'll come across soon. And uh, we'll go from there. Starting location. I'm not sure who our main threat is. As I say, we'll worry about that as we go along. Probably Imric. He's not to be ignored. But we've got a lot of green skins to go and kill. So let's go and crush Grizzguts. Certainly won't be ultra resolving. Kadai Fireborn. The Scions of Fire are a mighty demonic fire elementals trapped by sorcery and science within the Chaos Dwarves' hulking armoured creations. So cool. Uh, oh, God, they've got some Black Orcs. They've got some Black Orcs, not to be sniffed at. Let's have a look at these cool units. So, Drazhoath himself... He's got a, a lovely double moon, is it, I think that's what it's called, a double moon axe? Anyway, nice axe, some kind of scepter, he's a spellcaster, he's an armoured spellcaster, 125 armour, decent melee combatant, melee attack for you, yeah, he's okay, fire resistant, missile resistant, there's his Dark Renown. Witnessing other friendly units route. Okay, so only if... I think it's... Yeah. So if the green skins run off, it doesn't affect the uh, Chaos Dwarves at all, which is nice. And he's a Spellcaster too. <laughs> cool. This guy... 
Armoured, armour piercing, decent melee combatant, flaming attacks. Uh, melee attack 45, mm, he's okay. I mean, his missiles absolutely slap. 180 range is very good. 375 strength. So when he's not moving, he gets even more range. Nice. He's got Contempt. Charge Reflection. I mean, he's going to be really good at sniping enemy lords. Orc Laborers. Nice. They're not just um, lazy reskins of Orcs either. They've actually done quite a bit of work and detail on them. Look. I like the sort of bandages. And their stats are terrible. Oh, their leadership is awful. Plus eight leadership if units with contempt in range. Understood. Goblins. Again, they've uh, changed the image. They do look a bit different. These guys look absolutely immense. 100 armor, armor piercing, flaming attacks. Nice. Dwarven blunderbusses. Man, so cool. Armoured and shielded. Decent melee combatant. Mm, uh, yeah, I suppose the stats are okay, really, for combat. Ooh, 49 missile strength. Yes, please. And then the one I'm most excited about. Oh, look at these guys. Cool. So they've got 60 armor, which is alright. Nice and quick. Magical flaming attacks. Good weapon strength. They are demons, so they take damage when their leadership drops. Causes fear. Unbreakable if they've got 50% or more health. Blazing body. Okay, cool. They've got no charging up sort of abilities. So the more stuff they... The longer they fight, the better they get. Bound fire demons. Cannot be routed, but they take damage when their leadership is broken. This unit can be restored in battle by the demonsmith's reforge ability. And their siege attackers. Amazing. And then... Look at this industrial landscape. The pale, sickly colour in the clouds of the sulphur and pollution. Nice. What a fantastic job. Thank you, Creative Assembly. You are the best. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Alright, okay, cool. We can see them. Where are the Blackhawks? And what's this? Dreadquake Battery. Okay. So we've got some kind of bombard ability. I'm not sure why we've got that. Something like that, I think. Send them around the flank. And... Yeah, see what we can do. Definitely want to shoot him. In we go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just stop there.
keep them on skirmish. Uh, I'll take them off skirmish. Okay. I'll try and drop that bomb on them when I can. Nice. Uh, what's this spell? Magic missile. Here we go. Oh, those blunderbusses. My god. I missed with that, which is a shame. Wow. <laughs> those blunderbusses have just completely destroyed a unit of Black Hawks. Okay, the green skins have run off. Actually, you know what? Let's just finish them off. Yeah, my warriors taking a bit of a beating there. Yeah, let's make sure those pesky black hawks are dead. Let's have a look at this melee. I'm disappointed at how many uh, Infernal Guard I've lost there. Got to say. Was expecting them to die quite that easily. A hundred armor as well. Yeah, they've uh, they've lost a lot of men. Keep the wizard out. Let's try and get rid of those guys there. God, yeah, they've taken a, a cream in. Never mind. Let's so we do in combat. Okay. Um, these guys are amazing. Let's chase this guy down. Because hopefully we can get a, uh, a cool item. Uh, he was pretty cool. Couldn't quite get shots going off with this guy. He wasn't shooting very often. I don't know what I did wrong. And the orcs were uh, terrible. And yeah, disappointing that they lost so many. Hopefully they can just catch this guy. Chop him up. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're great.
And again, the damage on the um, Blackhawks was crazy. 177 kills on some Goblin Wolf Riders. I've never seen that before, I don't think. If I have, I don't remember it. Hey, it was worth it. Uh, armor plus five and awards. Yeah, that's solid. Okay, so what options do we get? We've got transport captives. So I think labor is slaves. It's a safe way of calling it. Uh, do we need the money? No, we're okay. Replenishment. Not sure. I think we're going to take the slaves. So what's this? Where's this going to go? Where is that being tracked? Ah. I was wondering when this was going to turn up. So. <laughs> the Legion of Asgore. Uh, fight battles and gather the necessary labour. Labour is the backbone of the Chaos Dwarves industrial economy. A commodity of battle captives and traded labourers. Okay. To facilitate efficiency, rapid expansion and ultimately the arming of the Chaos Dwarf war machine spend armaments in the hellforge we've looked at that use concave influence to claim powerful seats in the tower of czar haven't even looked at that yet and dispatch military convoys so we've got a cool mix this is like the beast men isn't it i like that so the tower of czar okay we need to get 75 and military convoys we get on turn 5. So they're like the trade missions from Cathay. Wow, okay. Brand new skill tree here. Uh, oh, well. He gets a a flaming bull thing. A Bale Taurus carries the dread sorcerer Drazoath the Ashen. Lord of the Black Fortress to battle at the head of his twisted legion of Asgore to bring fire and ruin down upon the foe. I'm sold. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Only level 11. Uh, and you're in command. Okay. 10% research bonus. Not bad. Construction time and construction cost bonuses. Meh. Uh, I guess it is kind of thematic. Uh, we are Legion. Armament cost reduction for Infernal Guard and Infernal Iron Sworn. Upkeep reduction for Infernal Guard and Infernal Iron Sworn. That's good because it like how, I like how it tells you what use it benefits. And uh, we're going to be using a lot of these dwarves, I imagine. Bonus versus infantry plus 15. <laughs> that is a rather good. Income from cities plus 10% faction wide and a 10% raw materials output faction wide. I'm sure that's very good. Master of Hell. Oh, yes. So he makes Kadar units even better. 15% stronger. 15% more resistant and 25% cheaper to improve. And he already gives them a 25% upkeep reduction cost. Um, he gets tougher. He gets a little barrier. Cool. And long years of exile. High up in the turrets of the Black Fortress, Drazoaf has waited, developing his sorcerer skills and biding his time. So, okay, he makes a... Really cool bombardment spell, cheaper. Is it a powerful one? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's... um. Oh, so cool. And then what do we get on the blue line? Control. Nice. I mean, that's pretty good. Tyrant's pretty good. 10% upkeep reduction. And movement, replenishment. Oh, wow. That's really nice. That's very nice. So, and then we've got the usual buffs to whichever branch we want. Well, I presume we're going to 
probably buff our um, Infernal Guard. But, first things first, let's unlock his cool magic. And let's improve our mobility. Oh, look at all that. Loads of regiments are in now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nice. Not all factions start with that many. Cool. How are we doing for time? Yeah, we can do this as well. In we go. Uh, uh, we've got our Dreadquake battery. I'm not sure why we're getting that. But I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, that's an old saying. I won't question why we've got it. I'll just be glad we have. <laughs> Lots of goblins. My goblins are particularly battered. As are my infernal guard. Uh, what's going on here? Looks amazing. Nice. So. Okay. I wonder if we can get a bit of a bottleneck here and drop a big bomb on their head. As you do. I think the Infernal Guard are probably going to have to sit this one out. we go. Um, I wonder if I can just start getting some shots on them with my hero here, or looked as the bronze. It's an okay name. Do feel free to suggest a uh, name in the comments below. I know I haven't offered that for quite some time. Let's get a few shots on these goblin archers. So if he's not moving, his range goes up. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if we can lure them towards us here. his shots ripping through here. I just need them to blob up so we can drop this spicy looking bomb on their head. There we go, there we go. What's the range on that magic missile? Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, those blunderbusses. Oh, right. Uh, okay, big bomb going off. See how this does. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, they've got a sneaky unit coming around the back there.
In we go. The demon's doing a great job. Nice. They shouldn't have any problem at all shredding up goblins. I like how the AI tried to come around the flank there. I think uh, it's had some work. I've had read in the update in the version I'm playing, which is version 3.0 now, as I'm sure you're all aware. But they have put some effort into making the AI more challenging, which is good. Because it's going to need all the help it can get against this faction, <laughs> which looks a touch overpowered. A touch overpowered, I say. Massacre. Cool. I really like this army. This is fun. 200 kills. It can do everything. Ranged magic, heavily armored, armor piercing, fast units, which we haven't even got yet. We've got chaff units for screening. Brilliant. Uh, scroll of leeching, yeah. Okay, so outposts, uh, factories expend raw materials to make armaments and income. Outposts generate raw materials via mines. I think I'm going to go for an outpost. I'm not sure if that's the correct decision. We've still got the dark hole to get, so we've got a tower. An outpost, so I guess if the dark hold we turn into um whatever it was. <laughs> the second choice, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll tidy up, we'll get to the end turn, and I'll call it there. Let's keep going down. Oh, but I want to go for a little bit of movement. Yeah, I might actually just play it safe and grab a grab a little bit of movement there just to help us out. Uh Okay, and we're going to have to do some of the Hell Forge. More warriors? Yeah, let's do it. So now we've unlocked the manufactory, but I'm not going to spend it yet. Because it costs, I think that's eight a turn. Which is quite a lot. I don't know how much we're making armaments wise. But now I can recruit the full three. Having a look around. It's highly likely we're going to be fighting Chaos Dwarves. The High Elves or Orcs or Normal Dwarves. So I think armor piercing is going to be good. I don't think I'm going to be needed the um, shield bonus. And because of his plus 8 melee attack to units with contempt, he does make these guys a lot better. So, <laughs> one, how's this work? So, oh, cool. So you flick between three. Um, trade bonusing. I'm not really interested in buffing the green skins. I think they're pretty poop. I'm uh, sure you can be... I am sure you'll be very useful. Yeah, this is what we want. Plus six leadership and plus four melee defense for all of those units who look amazing. Only two turns as well. And then we can buff our missile strength. Yeah, let's go for a, a military might. Okay, and lastly, oh gosh, we've got some building upgrades to choose. Oh, we've got plus eight armaments a turn, okay. Do I want to unlock hobgoblins? 
Not at the moment. Some dwarf blunderbusses would be nice. And infernal castellan. So that's we've got one of those already. That's the missile hero. Sadly, we can't unlock these cool demon smiths. They're the hit wizards. Oh, I want that. Can't yet. Bull centaur Tauruk. What is that? Bull centaur. Okay. Okay, so that's a like a bull, cool a bull centaur hero. We need 250 almonds for that. These things. A bit more money is always nice. Garrison's not a bad idea either. Are we likely to get attacked? Mm, I don't think so for a while. Let's play it safe and let's go for a little bit of money. And in the Sentinels, let's chuck out. When 200 raw materials a turn, or a bit more money. Okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll go for a strip mine, and I will end the turn there. So, thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I will be playing this to the late game. I assure you of that because I am really excited and I hope to be getting as content out as much as quickly as possible. But as ever, I am uh, sadly working quite a lot. I am working on not working so much, I do assure you. Anyway, waffling on. Take care, guys, and I look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye.